And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. We're going pack attack. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm going out of order will be made clear once we fight Cortex. Oh, yeah. I think I know why you are. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it's another fly. Uh-huh. Because the controls on this are fucking stupid. I think my brain kind of figured it out. Um... I think I've played games like this somewhat recently, and that's why I was like, oh, I could probably do this for you really easily. Yeah. Those look like they were more special Wampa Fruits. Unfortunately. Because the lighting. Oh. Did not pick one and go. I'm just waiting for the wires to come down. Because they yeah. will come down. And they'll swat you with electricity. There they are. There we go. Oh, it's a photo more. Okay. There we go. Ta da! I can kind of play these levels. And, like, why is this the only thing, like, Crash survives off of? Wumper Fruit? Maybe. It has to get boring after a while. <laughs> I mean, koalas. Is it koalas only eat eucalyptus? Yeah, I guess. I guess so, I, I, I'm speaking, you know, with my clearly universal, brain. no, universal experience, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> they can have meat, too. That's not true. I don't think. I think they're just herbivores. Cool as, yeah, I think they're just completely herbivores. Just like your cat is only a carnivore. Yes. Some people but it can have them. shit like carrots. And my yeah. cat does not care for that shit. And, um, like pumpkin. Really? Yeah, they can have pumpkin. Oh. Pumpkin's actually something. Don't be, like, giving a lot of pumpkin to your cat, though, because fucking it's, like, fibrous. Yeah, so your cat will, like, shit a fuck done. That's what they suggest when, like, your cat needs to, like, poop. Yeah, if he's constipated or something. Like, feed him a little pumpkin. Like, obviously, unsweetened. Right. Like, yeah, do not like give straight any. straight canned pumpkin. Yeah, don't give any of your pets sweetened anything. Yeah, that's just fucking very unnatural. But, um, and, uh, that should theoretically help them poop. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Cat grass does it, too. But, you know. You, th th that was my thing. That's why I tried cat grass instead of a uh, pumpkin. We do have pumpkin for him. Mm -hmm. But I was not sure if he'd like pumpkin. Right. So I just was like, mm, cat try cat grass because he wants to see my plants. And then he was like, fuck yeah. And now he knows when he's looking at my plants to go walk into the fucking cat grass oh. instead. Yeah, I noticed that he'll look at these and be like, hmm, I want to chomp. And he'll go into the- um, Oh, good for him. My business room and fucking go eat the cat grass there. Nice. Yeah. He's pretty smart. That's the thing about some animals is unfortunately they're smart. Yeah, he's actually pretty fucking smart. And I curse it. Every day. No. <laughs> yeah, I curse Hamilton being as smart as he is because he knows he's smart. Well, he like, they like, <laughs> I like this comparison. I was thinking about cats. Uh, it was like dogs um, know the words and they'll respond because they want to make you happy. Cats know the words, but they don't give a fuck what you <laughs> think and they will literally <laughs> just ignore you. Basically. Because like they do write that kind of certain words and oh, shit like that. Like I dogs. see my cat's ears flick. When I say something at them, if I want their attention, and mm -hmm. then they'll just ignore me, and I'm like, you little bastard. Yeah, I said, uh, oh, his, shit. I said Avalon's name earlier, and, um, he whipped his head around to look at me. Yeah. And now he's just listening. His ears are kind of flicking back his, and forth. His ears are just fucking pointed in my direction. Yeah. Which is interesting that he wants to spend the time out here with us sometimes because, um, I notice. If it's me mm -hmm. talking, he doesn't settle down sometimes. Interesting. Yeah, like, I don't know why. Maybe it's the combination of us. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, yeah, he's, he's, he's used to this routine. Yeah. Where he knows, okay, this is yeah. chill time. This is be quiet. Yeah. Well, now he isn't, like, coned and having fucking weird issues anymore, yeah. too. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, he recognizes shit. He's very smart. 
And some cats are really dumb. Soto was fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, I know. He was a big idiot, but he was he super was so nice. Sweet. That's a that's a benefit with stupid. They're like ninety nine percent of the time very very sweet. Yeah. That's why himbos are a good fucking character. Mm hmm. Big and a little dumb, but well meaning. I wasn't far enough. Okay. Thought I was. Hey, boss, I got a new idea. I'm going to show them spark fingers. <laughs> then they won't dare get close to me and hit he, me into this nuclear reactor that we just have out in the he open. He can't hit me if I have electricity. He's going to get spooked by the fact that I got sparkle fingers. Yeah. <laughs> That's what uh, Varric was thinking of when he nicknamed Anders Twinkle Fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Is whatever. These guys? Yeah, he's like, that's what he does. I want. Or was it fucking Dorian that he called that? I think it was Anders. You know, I love Varric, but I kind of hope he's not really prominent in the next game. He's already been prominent in, in several two, games. In two games. I'm going to go down a little bit. You don't want a fucking hothead? Not Scalp really. Scalp yourself a little? Not really. I know this is not going to give me 18, but... You know, like the smell burnt fur. He is after this. Okay. He can't possibly do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> if I just stay in the same... He almost got me. Yeah, he did. He was like, oh, he missed. Yeah. Time to just really slowly bring my hands down. Oh, he hit in that time frame. <laughs> <laughs> what if you opened this door and you just heard like a fucking heavenly choir? It was like, oh, <laughs> Nitro Cross. <laughs> it's a new religion. <laughs> yeah, it opens up like some fucking shitty website that's gonna give you like of like of seven malwares. malwares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Porn sites don't even give me this much malware. The <laughs> fuck is wrong with church sites? Damn it. Have a nuke in the site. This is not shit I would have in my like spaceship slash nuclear reactor. Seems all very one one second away from exploding. Well, considering... And destroying your entire everything. Considering the Cortex fight in the first game is on a fucking... Uh, Zeppelin? This is kind of on par for him. Is it on the Zeppelin? Yeah. Ah, oh, it takes me back to fucking hot air whatever ways. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with fucking the rat. Yeah, yeah. The mafia rat. The Tommy pinstripe. Gun. Pinstripe, yeah. Which, it's weird because it's like. It's weird that I don't remember any of their fucking names, but I, I fucking love Crash Team Racing. Pinstripe was in the first game. Yeah, he was. But he's not in this one. But he's not in this one. Koala Kong is in the first game. He's not in this one. Koala Kong also isn't in fucking Crash Team Racing. That is true. He might be in the second one. Which means he's in the Tiny new one. Tiny is not in the first game. He's not? Nope. Oh. Tiny Tiger is not in the first game. Ripperoo is, though. Yes, he is. And when you beat Crash 1, it does, like, a whole, like, where are they now, like, type of deal. <laughs> and for Ripperoo, it's like, he went and got a degree. Did he go back to college? Yeah, I think I remember yeah, saying that. Which is why it's funny, because, like, in this game, you fight him, and he's got, like, a fucking doctorate. <laughs> he's a fucking professor. <laughs> Just an insane one. Nobody's insane enough for the pursuit of science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm lucky, yay. Nice. These types of levels generally will just, it, the box gem is pretty easy. Well, yeah, because it's just, if it's already a challenge in itself, so yeah. might as well fucking make the boxes easy. If you beat it, good job. Yeah. Blech. Blech. <laughs> I like the fucking uh, the tongue. No, I like the sneaker noises. Oh, it makes a nice little fucking Satisfying. NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, my plan is nearly complete, and I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for it. Engine, what's happening? What's that? Is she stealing our signal? to contain the planet's energy, he's gonna harness the force and use it to power the super cortex vortex he's built on his space station. <laughs> 
It goes into neutral yep. face before <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> But they're embedded in the wall. Hmm. Why was he telling you to get crystals when you're like right here at him? Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and this is why I saved that one for last. Oh yeah. Got to chase him. Mhm. Mm you have to like catch him. I do. I thought I could sneak past that. Come here. This man, he's just twirling at me. <laughs> do you have health? Uh, yes and no. So hitting rocks probably doesn't do shit. Hitting rocks does not hurt me. It slows me down. These will kill you. Yes. No. Oh, I thought they would. <laughs> Let's try it more. <laughs> Is there like an end to him, or yes. is this? A There's an end, right which there. is like I'm absolutely not gonna beat this because I keep trying to. Oh, he waits for you. How me? The game was like, please just do it once. Oh, sends him really far forward. Yeah, yeah. Please have the satisfaction. Damn it. That should have hurt him, too. Yeah, I was hoping it would. Oh, there but it yeah, is. There it is. He's going to the fucking mm -hmm. nuke. Yep. Because I can't, I can't follow go past, him past that. I can't. No. Yeah. This, this one point, I'm stuck for some reason. Right. Thank God the evil mask gives me another try. <laughs> right. You rewind you time? Say, okay. Did you say no? no? It's It keeps you on yes. Oh, okay. So I just mashed through it. But I can't go up as far as I think I should be able to, which I think is my problem. Yeah, it's what's throwing you off a little. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's like a little symbol when you get close enough. Oh, is there? Like on him, on Cortez, oh. it looks like something shows up a little. See? There's like, oh. he gets like an exclamation point. He probably, in his head, he hears the Metal Gear. Wee! Thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, want to see me do it again? <laughs> Cortez. <laughs> want to see this? <laughs> I'm ahead of him. Good enough. Or fly into your fucking fists. He's so fucking oh. easy. Yeah. So now so you don't have to slide anymore. Here's the thing. You cannot get... Um, I think it's Sapphire is the highest. Until you get to beat the game. For for um, time attacks. Mm. You cannot get the highest. Uh, what you say? Oh. Take it over, Coco. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, he's just leaving. Later. I okay. don't know. Getting all the... I'll come back for a cart race. <laughs> yeah. Getting all the color gems probably has like a better ending. I don't know though because I've never cared to look it up. But anyways, the those shoes... Oh, Toys for Bob helped this one. That fucking checks out. Toys for Bob did this one and then everyone was like, but can you please do Spyro too? And then they helped with Spyro if I remember right. I thought they did Spyro first and then this one. I could be wrong. It was this one first. Because when this one dropped, everyone was like, Spyro, please. And uh, then... I thought they did Toy... I thought they did Spyro, specifically. Toys for Bob. They... Yeah. Because I remember the fucking... Um, uh, they were... They the, think they were like a main the, hand. The subtitle thing it. was like yeah. really bizarre. Um, but yeah, so without those shoes, you cannot get the best time trial Um in these levels you have to have the shoes to get the best time trials oh okay yeah so really fucking yeah you have so it's, it's not like you can um save it's not like you can just i, I really like how they show the old ps1 yeah it's not like you can go through and you're like oh i just did this level you know i i can uh I can just run through it again. You know? Oh, yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to wait until the very end. Yeah. 
to try to again. go back to the beginning. I guess a little bit of replay value, I guess, if you're like really into the game. Yeah. But like for people that are like, which back in the '90s, you know, right? It was fucking like, oh fuck yeah! Now yeah. I can play this game more because that's like all there was, and the games didn't typically have like a ton of story mm-hmm. and shit like that. Like there were games that did have good story and stuff like that, but there was a lot of these types of games, and there's I feels like there's less of them now. Yeah, or they need more fucking story around them now because like it doesn't Grab. satisfy the people anymore. Yeah, longer. yeah, it's like too simple, mm-hmm. and that's just what it was back then. It was simple, so it's like right now that they um. Unless you wanted your game on, like, eight discs, well, like fucking Final Fantasy. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's why I was like, there were games with story, but they were often, like, Japanese. Yes. And fucking, yeah, seven discs long. And there were, like, American ones, too. But there mm-hmm. were just, like, I think these were more Western games. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. that's why we played a lot of them. Even though this had seemed to have a big, like, marketing in Japan. Because I remember all the fucking, like, guy in a suit that's, like, Crash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Marketing and shit like that. Like, that we never got and stuff over here. But, like... So, but also they love mascot things, so it That's checks out that they would be like, fuck yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Right. But like, um, yeah, it, that's why I was just like, having the running shoes, it was probably was like, get you really your bang for your buck, it, but like really without much change to the right. game, like not making an entirely like there's, new there's game. There's a reason for post-game stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, without having to make new post-game. levels. Yeah, yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. it's post-game without post-game. Right. But like, fuck it. But it gets more game time and stuff like that, because that's kind of what people wanted back in the day yeah. and then you didn't need like whereas now things are because things are now pumped out at like a fucking once a year twice like every other year yeah break or whatever so it's just like whereas like back then it was like four or five years mm-hmm. yeah there was definitely i think crash time. was actually pretty quick crash was like i think three. it was like the year i think it was the year after like it was pretty soon was it too. Okay. yeah but obviously they're much smaller games so. right yeah like, the, what was that? That one was, like, 25 levels? Yeah. Warped is, like, 25 or 30 levels. Yeah. So. I mean, maybe we're talking about fucking other longer games that never get sequels until fucking we're adults. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of these, like, shorter games. But fucking, yeah, like... That's the one thing I think that's hard about these, like, nostalgic remakes. Mm-hmm. Is when you beat the game and it's just like, well, there it is. Yep, we're and done. It's like, and it's just as, like... I think that's why my dad fucking hates video games now because he used to play them and then mm-hmm. he beat like Sonic Spinball. Right. Or and whatever. Was nothing. And it was just like so like no pomp and circumstance. Just like, yep, you won. Yeah. And like that's it. And dad's like, I wasted all my time for this. Right. And like I get that sentiment. Like mm-hmm. now it's like, there's side of flying endings, dad, please. I think right. you really like Mass Effect. <laughs> like, because you love space shit. But fucking like. You like music. Yeah, exactly. He likes the music from video games, but fucking my thumbs are too big forever. (laughs) (laughs) That was always my dad's excuse once Tegan and I got good at CTR and started beating him. Yeah, that's what we, that's what we say when we start beating him at Sonic Spinball. Yeah, yeah. My thumbs are too big. Yeah. Like magically. (laughs) But like, fucking, honestly, I totally get it though with like how these games end and stuff like that. And now even like, they didn't add much more to them. Mm -mm. Like for the remakes, it's like, yeah, it's kind of a little empty on the end. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's like, but it's like still the, like nostalgia carries me. Because like the original stories were not great. The original stories did leave off on like that. So it's well, not like they didn't add they, more to it. The story didn't matter at all. It was a right. gameplay. Whereas that, now we want a little bit more. Bring me the crystals. We're on your spaceship, dude. Even shit like Hollow Knight has pretty good story and shit yeah. like that. So I need to play that sometime. People love it. That's what I hear. But this is a good place to stop yes. for Crash Bandicoot 2. Two. Now we're going to move on dun, to dun, dun. Warped, which technically new series, but you know. Still crash. Yeah, so if you if you don't want to watch Warp, thanks for watching this one, I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to do the whole spiel like I normally do since we are just directly moving on to another crash yep. game. But still, we appreciate you. So <laughs> until next time, bye. bye.